really muddy. So let's see how that plays out here. All right, here's a handoff. Wow, big hit in there as well. Handoff chambers to Chambers. There. Not much there. He got a couple, and it was a hard hit at the end of that play. First and uh, second and uh, eight after the two yard carry. And again, uh, the question is uh, where is Vaughn Bennett? Because uh, we completely went away from that uh, from earlier in the game. So second and eight. Hawks trailing by six. Rosser from the shotgun. He'll send uh, Taylor in motion. That should be offsides there. Nearly intercepted, and that play was tipped at the line and goes incomplete. I thought that I thought somebody jumped across early, but uh, there's no call on that. Third down now and eight. And I think this Gretna offense is starting to tighten up a little bit, Eric, uh, feeling that pressure. Yeah, I think, you know, this third. Out of there, and he does get out, and but he will not make the first down. He gets the yard or two, has good containment coming up there, and it forces Gretna into another punting situation. Good defense right, right there by the corner and the safety, you know, really putting pressure on Bennett and you know, not allowing him to get the ball. Fourth and six. Fourth and six, and all of a sudden, the Gretna offense that was going up and down the field in the first half has uh, disappeared here in the third quarter. And you got to give credit to coaches for making adjustments there at halftime. And uh, so far, the Hawks have not been able to solve the Bearcat defense in the third quarter. All right, here comes the punt. Gets the kick out of there. There's no... Here, Eric, up by six. Yeah. Uh, the, any any points at all they can, can get here will put them in a great position. Yeah, this isn't you know looking too good for the Gretna offense. I mean, for the Gretna Hawks right now. If Virginia gets you know anywhere near a field goal range, they're going to put it in because uh, Mumpower is a very good kicker, as we saw here earlier with the 34 yard stack right, one to the left. Kaiser, quick throw over, complete on the left sideline and out of bounds finally. It'll be enough for a first down. Virgil Glass bumped him out after about a 12 yard gain. Have enough for a Bearcat first down. And they are continuing to give them the yeah. underneath routes. Yeah, and Kaiser's just quickly throwing it. They just uh, they have no answer for it. All right, here's uh, Brown to carry. Caught by the leg. He'll be brought down in the backfield. The loss of Brown one. With the carry. Second down and 11. Second and 11 for the Bearcats. Two-yard loss makes it second and 12. All right, back to the 50-yard line, second down. Again, three receivers stacked on the right side, one on the left. They went the uh, left last time. We'll see if they go back to the right side this time. All right, here's uh, Kaiser looking left, throwing. Almost and, uh, intercepted by Taylor. Taylor almost had the interception. Pass and it goes incomplete. Rashawn Taylor turned right at the last moment and had a play on the ball, but uh, it goes incomplete. It'll be third and long. Third down and uh, we'll call it 12. Another key down right here because uh, if you can stop them with an incomplete pass here or stop them with a few yards gain, they'll probably punt. All right, third and 12. Kaiser throws it, it's tipped and goes out of bounds and it's fourth Kaiser down Kaiser punting situation. Alright, punting situation here uh, for the uh, Bearcats. 
All right, Bearcats up by six. We're in the third quarter. It's been a while since the Hawks have scored, actually. Back deep, Taylor and Rosser to receive this punt. And here's the uh, high snap. Kick away, a beautiful punt. Beautiful punt. Rosser needs to let it go. It's going to be down at the five-yard line. Uh, Rosser made the right play. There was nothing he could do. That's just a great punt. Yeah, it's a very good start. This drive from that old four. This is... That not good field position for that's Gretna. A, that's a 45-yard punt, no return. Yeah, that's not good field position right here for Gretna. But, you know, the bright part of that is you keep points off the board for Virginia High School and you give yourself an opportunity to put points on the board going 95 yards here. All right, uh, Hawks need points. At their five-yard line, they got 95 yards to go. We'll see if they can get something going. Chambers in motion. The handoff is to Glass. Stopped. I believe he. I believe he might have gotten to the line of scrimmage. If if that. Uh, half a yard, maybe. We'll call it second and ten. No game makes it second and ten. Second down and ten for Gretna. Backed up at the five. A lot of pressure here to get some room to work with. Rosser going to throw quickly out to Glass. Glass complete. Glass ahead near the first down marker. They'll push him back. I believe he got the first down. Yeah, the referee looks like he's marking it right at the first down. He's signaling first down. Good play by Glass. Good throw by Rosser. Hawks needed that 10 yards badly. And it'll be first and 10 now at the 15. All right, Rosser from the shotgun sends uh, Chambers in motion. He'll hand it off to Glass. Glass finds a small seam. He'll push it ahead for about seven. 44 Glass with the carry. It's Matt Glass there on the carry. He's closing in on. Looking at Bond Bennett, it looks like he's starting to favor that left le uh, that uh, left leg just a little bit. He's going to switch sides now over to the uh, far side, and actually going to put Glass and Bennett on that side as receivers. Single coverage on Bennett and Glass both. All right, here's a give to uh, Matt Glass. Matt, he's breaks a tackle ahead for the first down. He's got the first down. Another Gretna right, Hawks first down. Another first down as uh, Glass got the necessary yards to keep the chains moving. And uh, Chris Hall on the sideline here injured in the first half. And uh, you know, he's not going to be back in the game. So uh, Matt Glass is going to be getting a lot of those calls along with Chambers. This time it's going to be Rosser to carry. Rosser gets bulldozed. Number 53 uh, there for, uh, for the uh, Bearcats. Just laid the hard hit there for, um, for the uh, Bearcats after a gain of one. <clears throat> Two minutes left in the third quarter. Gretna trailing by six. 39 to 33. This time they'll split receivers. Glass and Bennett left and right. Chambers in motion. Chambers gets a carry. Now, if Bennett would be open if he if he does a well, they're gonna maybe move a little coverage over here on the left side. It's glass on the right, and here's uh, Rosser with a little, little bootleg action in the.
take the lead. Trailing by six. Chambers in motion. The give is to Glass. Glass up the middle, bent back at the end of that play. He only got maybe two. 44 Glass with a carry. Maybe three. Gets a real good spot there. Glass is one yard away from the century mark here tonight. Three yard game makes it second and seven. All right. Second down and seven. You got three. This will be the last play to have. Coming down towards the uh, last play of this third quarter. 25 seconds. 25 seconds and counting, second down, and seven. Here's Rosser, back to pass. Looking for all of it, he throws it up. And it's gonna be caught by Glass down at the 26 yard line, 27 yard line. Glass's catch is good for another grab. 33 yards. 33 yards on that. And that should end the quarter. And they'll stop the uh, clock for the um, Spotting of the ball and the chains, and then they'll. Third quarter with the Virginia Bears. Lead it 39 to 33 over the Gretna Hawks. We got a great game, it looks like, here, finishing up. One quarter to go. We'll take a timeout. You're listening to Gretna Hawks football. It's going to be first and ten, I believe. Uh, took it to about the 11 yard line. Number 44, 11 yard line. They'll stretch the chains. Uh, they can get to the one and get a first down. So they have it at about the 11. All right, Rosser. Hands it off. We got a flag. Stoppage uh, there. I don't see a flag there on the far side. Maybe against Gretna. Illegal it procedure. <clears throat> Illegal procedure against the Hawks. Wow, that comes at a very bad time. Five yard penalty make it first and 15. All right, that'll back them up to the 16 yard line, and they got first and 15 from there. And again, they got to have these points. You got to have six right here. Early in the fourth quarter, Hawks down by six. Rosser looking to throw an AO run. 
breaks through, gets a little bit there, finally stood up, and it's going to be second and probably about 13. Number 14. You only got a couple of yards there. Second and 13. And yeah, second and 13 coming. Yep. You know, you you can you know get two passes here and just you know try to make it. You can get a first down at the about All right, the Russell comes yard. out here over to the sideline, and again the play clock is running, so he'll get some information. I wonder if if the bootleg is going to be available here. Yeah, you know I love the bootleg. Uh, all right, this time it's going to be Chambers right side. Chambers following blockers, hit at the uh, push. And he third got, and three. Got about eight. Number 23, eight. 10 yard game makes it third and three. Third down and three. Now might be a good time for the bootleg. Yeah, they're gonna put they're gonna put people over there. That bootleg is not gonna you get back to be an option. All right, let's see. Shovel pass. Uh, Glass gets it. Glass oh, stuffed stops. at the five. It's fourth down. 44 Glass with a carry. Number 44, no game. All right, here's the question. Do you go for three? If you go for three, you're only going to be down three. So that is the conventional play call. Kicker's got the tee in his hand, but he's still on the sideline. It looks like they're going to go for it here. They might try to draw him off sides. Right, here's the bootleg right here. <laughs> bootleg right here. You got to get a good block from Jeremiah Chambers. All right, fourth and five. They're going to throw it. Uh, Ross under pressure. Rolls right, runs to the end zone, tries to cut, hit at the uh, one, throws it. You can't throw it there. It's intercepted. That's an illegal pass. It's coming back the other way. Uh, all the way down the sideline. Number five, he's going to run it all the way. Uh, that was uh, a pass beyond the line of scrimmage, so I don't know what's going to happen here. But it is run all the way back for a score. All right, we don't know. Rosser, Rosser got it near the first down, but didn't quite have it. Then he decided to throw it, but he's across the line of scrimmage at that point. All right, waiting to see. There's a discussion. If that's an interception on an illegal pass, does it count? All right, waiting to see what the call is. And, all right, there's a big con fab there. Now they'll come up and make the call here at some point. The official is standing at the five yard line and uh, waiting to see what. Legal forward pass against the Hawks, uh, blocking it back against the Bearcats. Okay, a couple of penalties here. The Bearcats going to end up with the ball. Uh, the question is where? Unless they're offsetting penalties. Uh, back here is where you're blocking the back. They're blocking the I, I, I think the Bearcats will end up with the ball. <laughs> we got some finals to pass along to you. Um, <clears throat> Tunstall lost 16 to 34 to Heritage. And Appomattox beat Marion High School 50 to 14, and Alta Vista won 62 to 18. Uh, last report, Dan River was up 32 to 15. Okay. All right, Bearcats are going to have it, and then they're going to be penalized. Um, half the distance and they'll get it around the two and a half I'm guessing well that's a big opportunity though by the boards for Gretna now the defense has got to make a stop they cannot afford to go down by more than six again the Gretna offense has been shut out here in the second half Alright, Bearcats on top with the ball. We just don't know exactly where they're going to have it. Looks like it's going to be around the two or three yard line. 
You know, the grab the defense needs to make a play, Eric. Yeah. Interception, fumble recovery. <laughs> we we definitely Three need and out, something. We definitely need a big defensive stop here. We have eight thirty left to go and possibly in the season for the Gretna Hawks. Yeah, last year one and done and they are facing that right now unless they can get at least <laughs> six points. Uh and uh, excellent opportunity to get six just went by the by the wayside. And now the Bearcats. An, an excellent opportunity to get at least three points went by yep. the wayside also. Yep. We gambled for six and uh, instead of three and got neither. All right. And the officials are still discussing this uh, with the Bearcats coach. Uh, I think the Bearcats coach. I don't know what he's upset about. I think. Uh, well, we're going to keep it right here. Uh, try to decipher what's going on. If I'm the Bearcats coach, I'm pretty happy about having the ball. Um, he probably wanted the six, but there was a uh, block in the back, and I don't know exactly where that occurred. He probably wants a penalty uh, from wherever that occurred, and who who knows where that happened. Yeah, it's no telling really where that, any of that happened, but you know. The important thing is right now that Virginia High School does have the football, <clears throat> and Brent is going to need to have a key defensive stop here to get the ball back. I mean, they do have enough time here, but, you know, time is yeah. winding down. Yeah, you, you feel like, I, I don't know what's happened to the Gretna Virginia offense. Start uh, this drive from their own because two. they need to march up and down the field in the first half, but they haven't been able to get a point here. They've only gone to Von Bennett twice since the uh, second half started. All right, here's a quick run right, up the middle. Ran. Not much there. They're just trying to get the clock running here and try to keep it going. Now. Short gain. Again, if Gretna, no can, if Gretna can get a three and out or anything here, uh, you know, you got a good shot to get a good drive. All right. Kaiser under center. We haven't seen that much tonight on second down. Long count. We've got three men in motion for the Bearcats. Well, the thing about it is, and you can send CJ players in motion as a shift, but they have to be set before the ball is snapped. All right, they so take I'm not half sure the exactly what that was. It's not much of a penalty yardage-wise. Makes it second and ten, uh, maybe eleven. Second and about ten. Second and ten. All right, second and ten. Kaiser under center. He's going to throw. Throws it up. And it's incomplete. Rashawn Taylor had the coverage there. He yep. fell down at the end of that. That, that was a very risky pass. Yep. Right there. Kaiser's uh, incomplete. Raise up third another, if that ball, If that ball soars, it is intercepted by Deion Ross right there. And Brent is back in business. All right, the uh, Bearcats went for went for all of it right there. They were just trying to get out of there. Took a risk. Third down now. We'll see what they do on third and ten. We got uh, this time they'll shift over to the other side. No penalty this time. Pitch to Brown. Brown still on his feet. Brown Missed caught tackles. and he'll be short of the first down. Missed tackles are starting to add up for the Grand Hawks offense, but. It's still a third down coming here for fourth, fourth, fourth down. Fourth down, fourth excuse me. Yeah, that was uh, Virgil Glass on the stop. And fourth and six in a punting situation. And if you're Gretna, you if, if you're Gretna here, you uh, uh, probably want to try more for a return than you do a block because <laughs> the block it could go out of the end zone. You'd have, you know, you really want to get a good position here to try to get a touchdown. We get two points in the ball. All right, back is Taylor and uh, and uh, Rosser to receive. Mumpire gets it out of there, and a pretty good kick, no return though. Takes a good bounce there for Virginia High, but still Gretna will have it at the 43 of Virginia High. So can the Hawks offense get something going here? I really, I honestly hope so, Stewart, because. Yeah. 
I'd hate to see this team lose here tonight when they have the star power and the ability to make it all the way to Salem this year. Well, you know, <laughs> uh, they're going to have to make some things happen here in the last little bit. They're down by six. Uh, you cannot have a turnover. you got to play mistake-free, and you got to have a little bit of a lucky break here and there. Here's uh, Chambers around the end, and he's not going to get out of that backfield. Jeremiah Chambers on the sweep. He loses a couple, loses three yards. And here we go with the questionable play calling again. I mean, you've only got 6.23 to go here. You're down six, and you're going to do a sweep play. But, you know, I understand you're trying to get your playmakers in, you know, space to make a play. But with the speed of this defense, it's going to be hard right here, Again, especially Bennett, with the field conditions. Bennett's got single, single coverage over there on the far side. Von I said Bennett. him on a go route. Either that or a slant or anything. Here's Rosser going to run with it. Rosser, nowhere to go. He got back to the original line of scrimmage. Don't know why he decided to run that so quickly. It's almost like a design draw play. Third down and 10. Yeah, uh, third and 10 coming up. I really, you know, it's probably going to be some kind of crossing pattern with Glass and uh, Bennett, you know, coming across the middle. The middle okay. is open to an extent. All right, Rosser. Good protection. Throws it, overthrows it. Nope. Rashawn Taylor with a great catch. I thought it was going to be too far, but I thought you were right. Taylor went up and got it. I thought that was going to be overthrown. 13 yards on first down. Hey, Rashawn Taylor got beat on a touchdown play, but he's made a kickoff return and a great pass catch there on third and 10. Uh, to make up for that. And I hate to say it, but this is turning into a Grand Alta Vista game. <laughs> yep. All right, here's uh, Matt Glass. Matt breaks through. Matt following blockers. Matt at the 10, stumbles to the 6, and a flag at the end of that because it was a late, a late hit out of bounds. And Matt Glass is still down, but he's up now. He's, Glass he's is limping a little yep. bit. That was a hit. He was hit laying on the ground out of bounds. Okay. All right, now I want a bootleg here somewhere in this series. Uh, all right, they're not they're not set up for it because uh, now they are. Uh, all right, I formation. Rosser hands it off to Chambers. Chambers hit. In we're tied. Touchdown. Tie game. Jeremiah Chambers ties it up. Number 23, three yards, touchdown, Connor. 39 all. Where are we on time? Number 23, three yards. 448 here to go in the fourth quarter. We got a tie game. Bratton is going for the lead right here. 448 to go. It's going to be Canaris on for the extra point. And he could break the tie here. He's been a little shaky at times. We'll see. All right, we're set. Ross, we're set. And here's the snap. The kick is on the way. And it's good. Gretna retakes the lead. With the score of the Virginia Bearcats, 39. 40 to 39. Hawks on top. Let's take a timeout. You're listening to Gretna Hawks football. Got that money hey, yeah. it's too close for comfort. Uh, <laughs> uh, is that what it is? I didn't realize that. Okay, I didn't realize that you were the bad luck charm. 